What's up everybody, Chris Gall here, Healthy Living with Chris Gall, and today I'm going to talk about how to use a wooden hairbrush to help promote hair growth. We're going to get right to it. Alright, so for the people who actually follow me, you know that I have a hair growth regrowth regime. I didn't have any hair on the top of my head when I started this about two years ago, and now I have some. I still have obviously a long way to go to get where I need to be if I want to grow all my hair back. But you know, when you're 59 years old, it's a little bit harder to get your hair back, but I'm still doing my best to try to get it there. Uh, my current regime, I just want to go over a little bit of that, and you can always go back and look at all my videos. And at the end of this video, I am going to have my playlist of all my hair, re, hair hair regrowth videos and you can go on there and you can see everything that i do in detail on how i grow my hair back but basically i do scalp massages and i do twice a day so i do about 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening and i really do that to bust up the calcium growth in my hair and if you don't know what that is watch my first video on hair growth on that playlist that's going to be at the end of this video and you'll know what i'm talking about Second thing I do is I use derma, I do derma rolling, which is a little device that has a lot of needles in it, and, it, I, and I did say needles, and they will poke through your skin, and it helps to, to, to beat up your scalp to help promote blood flow to the scalp. So you can go and you can see that video. I also have the inversion method, which is when you get your head underneath your chest, and that way blood rushes to your scalp so you can see there's a theme going on here whatever you're talking about trying to regrow your hair is trying to get blood flow to the top of the scalp and that's about where you have the fewest amount of veins to bring blood in the first place because you don't have much muscle up there you need muscle in order to bring blood to an area and there's not that much up there and that's why people tend to lose their hair on the top of their head before they lose it anywhere else so anyway i still do the inversion method I still once in a while I'll do a hair mask, although I've kind of backed off on that. And that's when you mix a bunch of oils that help to, to get your hair to grow. And I just don't see a ton of, of uh, response for that. And so I kind of have put that on the back burner, but I might start that up again if I actually start to grow some hair and I might put it on um, down the road. But right now I'm not seeing that I'm, I'm needing that as much. And then I have scalp exercises and you can see that video and that's actually like I mentioned, you're trying to get muscle up here, and there's a theory that people who can wiggle their scalp, like I can't really do it, but if you can wiggle your scalp, which I'm trying to do now, then means you have some muscle up there, which means that you're building that muscle up to help bring blood flow to the hair. And so I still do a little bit of that every day, and I just do it intermittently here and there because I really do think that that's gonna help out a little bit in bringing blood flow to the scalp which would then help the hair so just want to throw that out there that's my current regime if anybody wants to know that's what it is and then i just added the wooden brush so i'm going to show it to you again this is the wooden brush and all you do you know is you just brush your hair and you brush it and i try to really do more of the top get the sides just to get it so that it doesn't look weird but the top is where I get the most out of really just getting the blood flow to my scalp. So what are the benefits of this brush? Well, the benefits are number one, I'm just gonna go over the benefits. So number one benefit I believe is it massages the scalp. And you know, obviously we do that anyway when I do the scalp massages, but why not keep doing a good thing? So scalp massaging, it does, it does help that. And because of that, it, the number two uh, reason is it improve, pr improves, can't say improved, trying to, um, it, I'll improve on saying improved, right? Um, anyway, it improves blood circulation. And so that's why you're massaging your scalp too, is to improve blood circulation up there, and that will help get your hair to grow. It also is anti-static, which is important, I believe, and so it helps with that. It also absorbs, it's a, it helps with the absorption and distributes hair oil, 
so hair oil is normally called sebum and you'll probably hear me say that in some of my other videos and so if it all just kind of clumps up there with calcium it actually makes a sludge there that helps or slows down the growth of hair so what you need to do is get that to be moved around and that's what the massages do but the brush will also help that sebum oil get distributed and also absorbed so it opens it up on the top of the scalp and that you can get more blood flow there and it can start to grow it's also hypoallergenic so that's important and so all those reasons are why i think the, the wooden hairbrush is going to help and you'll see what my hair does down down the road i just started this a, like a week ago and you'll see what that does i will use now the wooden hairbrush two times a day one in the morning and one in the evening and typically i'll do it before i do the other massages so it's like one of the last things i do at night is one of the first things i do in the morning it's just very easy just to hit it and i just hit it for a minute or so and i think it's going to help so that's all i really had to say in this video it's very very um very simple video it has to be an all wooden brush i have one in, in the link in the description below and it's only like it's less than seven bucks so it's pretty cheap to buy and you can go to that link that i have down there and get a great deal on it and you can get that and start using it right away and i think it will help your hair growth and if you like this video make sure that you like subscribe and share this video with others and that way everyone can benefit from it at the end like i mentioned watch that watch that playlist and, or or the next video on healthy living I, like i put out healthy living videos every week so you can either watch the next video that's going to pop up or you can go to that playlist and you can watch all the hair regrowth videos in there and you can see exactly what i do so that's all i had to say and i will see you in the next time i'll see you in the next video see everybody